Greetings tonight. Let me just extend greetings to host pastor, Pastor Wright and his wife and the rest of ministers here tonight. We just greet you, musicians. Greetings, members, choir. Greetings, greetings, visitors. Three folks that came along with me. Greetings. Amen. It's another night in the fight. We've been having great nights. Let me see those that were at the altar last night. Raise your hand. You're at the altar. Come on, that's real. I say you raise up. Those that were at the altar, just lift your hand like mine. Listen, we now charge you to raise your hand. Hello. There is no cost to hit. All those that were at the altar, just lift your hands tonight. Lift them high like mine. Raise them high now, man. We up. Amen. Put your hands together for them. I assess the meetings and I realize that there is a cut, yes. there is a spell yes. Yes. that needs to be broken. Yes. I assess the meetings and I realize that Satan has hands on yes. this community. Yes. I realize that there are people that want to be saved, yes. but they are shackled yes. and they are tied and they are bound. And tonight, when I came in and I heard Reverend placing great emphasis on worship because we know what worship can do. We know that if the church does not get to the place to create an environment, to create uh, a setting that God can work in, because it's not about the preacher, it's about the army of God, but it's the church of the living God. You're not talking, some of you look tired, I don't even know why you get here. And since you came here, the Holy Ghost should really perk you up a long time. I know that you'll be here from Monday night, and that's all right. When you're in Christ, Christ will give added strength. Our Restore strength and joy. Somebody praise God in me. But I'm saying that there are persons that are still tied. There are persons that are still shackled. There are persons that are still bound. But as the preacher made mention in the book of St. John, chapter, I think it's 11, when Jesus called Lazarus from the grave, Jesus says to the church, loose him. Because there are some of you that are called from your conditions and your situation. Called out of your grave. Called out of your condition. But you are still tied. And you need to be loosed by the church. And it's only the worship that touch God can loose those that are shackled and bound and tied. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Somebody lift your hands and praise God. Let me hear somebody say loose in the name of Jesus. Somebody say delivered in the name of Jesus. You need to understand that when a man is tied, when a man has had handcuff, he cannot help himself. You're talking to me tonight? Somebody should be saying amen. Somebody should be saying amen. Somebody should be saying praise the Lord. And this community is under siege. It is under bondage. And it needs to be delivered. But well, you need to understand the power of praise. As pastor emphasizing it. That listen it was praises that took down the wall of Jericho. It was praises that caused our good friend Jehoshaphat to win the battle. You're not talking to me tonight. It was praises that David saw when he had the victory over the adversary but when praises goes up blessings come down and God the heat rise up peace and quarry good but he inhabits the praises of his people and that's the purpose of us the whole beauty of man is to worship and praise God and keep his commandments somebody shut up God in this place there are some people that cannot transform and can you praise God and the presence of the Lord come down and touch and save and deliver and set free Television, they act like they're at moving, they're not involved. Some 
Thank you. 